Alright, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And action. Flash me. Living out like I want it. It's real, fuck it, don't doubt that. Number one, bitch, I'm about that. You get out hustled and out rapped. I bet homies won't fuck with me. I bet a bitch won't fuck with me. My old hoes love dumping me. Now they ask what's up with me. Oh no, bitch, you didn't. Fuck it up, can I get it? That white boy go get his. No breaks, no limits. Flash me. So what I was thinking was shoot everything 60 frames, shoot everything slow motion on the shoulder rig instead of the Ronin. Um, so instead of it being like steady, it gives it, it'll gives it give the whole thing a little bit more of an active look. My name is Nick LaForm, a.k.a. Ace Eka. I originally, I went by uh, Young Prince was my original name. And I took that name because I was a huge fan of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So I kind of broke off of that. And then uh, it was like New Year's Eve. I was like 15 years old. And one of my brother's friends told me that, like, you should go with something original. Prince is taken. You should do something like, something like Ace. And I'm like, you know, what am I going to do with Ace? It's too plain. You know, so I started, like, thinking about it. And it was like a process of months, like, Ace what? I didn't want to do something corny like Ace money. You know what I mean? Like, everyone does that. You know what I mean? So... I kind of wrote Ace, and then for whatever reason, I wrote it backwards. And I like how it mirrored itself, Ace Echo. And I kind of just started running with it, like. One of the realest out of Liquid City. This shit is gritty, a cop is so called Mr. Gigi. Don't ever doubt me, I'm shitting on you, shit offend me. I get the envy, but understanding the hate is tricky. I think that there are always two sides to everyone. I think that every person has a personal side and a side that they let everyone else see. And I think that Aseka kind of defines that. I think it's it's one person, but there's two sides. And the music helps me let you into my side. We kind of call them Ace when we're in the studio at a more personal level. And then there's a stage name Ace Eka. And if you look at his name, it's Ace and then Eka, and Eka is the word Ace backwards. So it's the best of both worlds. So really, Ace is Nick, and then Eka is his stage appearance. There is a difference, but he combines them into one, especially musically, where he has his like rapping, like party songs, and you know, partying, have a good time with his friends, and his more emotional songs that really touch you and make you think, like, wow, that's a good way to think about things. Nick was an extremely happy child, extremely easygoing child. He never gave us any trouble at all. I know that's hard to believe, but it's the truth. He just was always went with the flow. He just never gave us any trouble. He's very lovable, very family-oriented, always wanted to be around his family. No, I did not know that Nick wanted to do music. I never, ever, he never showed any interest in any kind of singing or instrument or anything like that when he was a child. Although he did play the trumpet, I shouldn't say. He did. Not well, but he did. You know, I actually don't have like a defining moment. Um, I just know as far as I can remember, I always wanted to be recognized for some sort of talent. I, I would say it's given him a, a different confidence that he didn't have in other areas of his life. He's very confident when it comes to music. Um, and I think that um, he has a, a deeper sense of himself when he's recording. It's like my brother. He's been my brother since like going on nine years now. What kept the chemistry going for almost, you know, nine years, again, that's that been that the consistency, him feeding off we feeding off each other, you know, musically, um, personally, you know, could call him and, you know, he's, he never turned me down for, you know, anything. Even when things got really hectic for me, you know, he was there for me. And so outside of music, so it's more than music when it comes to, you know, Ace Artillery like that. That's a whole story itself, you know, how that, you know, bond. Because there's so much similarities, how, you know, the influence he put on me and, you know, even asking him, should I put this in, you know, getting that feedback. And that's when I knew, when I started doing it, I knew like it was. You know. His music doesn't affect our relationship in a bad way. 
um, it's actually a really positive effect because we motivate each other. I motivate him to do music, he motivates me in my career. Um, it's just really a push for us. Um, he doesn't haven't written a song about our relationship, but I mean, he uses it as a way of therapy, I feel. I joke around with him all the time that he needs to write a song about me. Um, but he tells me I need to stop asking before he does write a song for me. Um, if he had to write a song about me, I think he would name it Annoying Sam because I've been annoying him with having to write a song about me. Since the day I've met him, probably. <laughs> I think what would happen is that, so whoever is the lookout will be kind of like here, you know, like looking around and stuff, and, and almost like they're looking in. And then as soon as Nick comes out, maybe he like tosses the bag to him or something, and then they start running yeah. together. Yeah. He can like toss the bag over that, yeah. show some sort of action. We out the house, and we, we had to come up with a totally different idea because the house doesn't work for what we were going with. Yeah, it's solid. All right, so uh, so yeah, so we'll just see you. So when are you heading here? All right, sounds good, man. All right, see you. I, I try to be as creative as possible with song titles. I don't want to just put like, uh, you know, trust issues or, you know, uh, get money or some stupid corny like that, you know. I want to just draw you in with the name because if you don't hear it and you see the name and you see something like, uh, you know, shake that ass, you're going to be like, I want nothing to do with that. But if you see something creative, you're going to be like, it might make you click. And that's what I'm trying to do. Connecticut, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, you know, there's a lot of city stuff up here and I love coming up to Boston for, you know, Mikey, you know, just, I'm on this song with Itai and, you know, I just, I, I'm one of the, I, I like to show that I'm white, you know what I mean, like, I can hold my own even though I'm white. How was that close? <laughs> Close. That was that was bad. Is what it was. <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Mike from 41st Casanova, and uh, we're here today shooting uh, Each Eye's music video. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. From what I'm doing with my uh, angles and stuff, you know, I work really hard in this shit. It feels nice like sitting on videos that are, un that are unreleased. Exactly. And so that's why when people ask me, like. Well, what's going on with these videos? I see you shooting them, I'm like, just wait. Yeah, 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 give it time. Yeah. Letting it build up in the vault, and then we'll start back, 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 back. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. But made it happen. <laughs> you know, with the, We're going down this alley, right this alleyway, and there's so many vents and shit, and I got the phone in my pocket. And I'm trying to hear it, I feel like the song is fast paced. So I'm like trying to hear it, so he's like, all right, you know what we're gonna do? Pretend like you're on the phone, right? So, <laughs> I'm like this, like oh, talking, and all of a sudden the song starts. <laughs> start rapping, trying to put the phone like up here. 
<laughs> it, yeah. it worked. It worked. It doesn't look fully ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look fully ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the best people, part. When the people nice watch this, you're like, oh, that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's yeah. what he was doing. That's why the phone He is ridiculous. I am ridiculous. He is ridiculous. The, but that pigeon, though. The pigeon. That was pigeon the MVP. Yeah. He just, it, it like, it stopped. He like stopped at like the part in the song. The bird flies, I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we had like the NBA camp like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> throw the GoPro on the pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we so, that one. The bird was there, it was meant to be. Damn, ho. Might just move to Cali like the Rams, ho. Got my man Jay out there. We turn up bang night if I stay out there. But the Beyonce sipping lemonade out there. All the way up, way, way out there. Give me the money, we don't move to the pay out clear. Go, I don't fall. I just be drinking and fucking with flowers. I just be bow, whipping and flipping the all. Tell the bitch, get on the pow. What is she now? She don't know better. You know, it's funny, whenever I feel like, like, when we shot mayhem <clears throat> and voicemail, I feel like I, when you have to act, it's like a super challenge. You know, so you, like, you, I just try to, like, zone myself into the role. Yeah. And like this time, it's like, okay, just try to be like energetic. You're really going to run in there and rob these people. So, yeah. <laughs> like, try to talk myself like a fucking uh, my inner uh, yeah. Mickey from Rocky, you know what I mean? Get out there and do it. Yeah. <laughs> we first became friends back in high school. Um, I was introduced to him through another friend, Nick Dione. And then from there, we became very close. Um, started working musically together and then I eventually came into managing with him and helping him get out there with getting shows and uh, yeah it's been a long friendship. His drive is a passion. It's a love for the art. It's not just making music. It's how intellectually you could bring it to the next level. It's using wordplay. It's using uh, different flows. It's paying attention to what's going on in life and taking that and really implementing it into his work. And that is something that he's been able to exceptionally do past other artists. For him, just keep pushing forward. Never let somebody be better than you because if they're better than you, learn from what they're doing. And then because you are more intellectual than that person and more and having greater capabilities, you could push them aside and get to your goal. Don't sit there and wait and see who's better than you and do nothing about it. Always push to be number one because at that point, you're going to be. If you're okay with number two, you're gonna be number two. And you won't try to push your lyrics. You won't try to push your flow because the only thing you're doing is being settling. You're just sitting there, you're a settler. And that's gonna get you nowhere. Henny and eggnog? Just roll with it. Fuck it. All right, play the music. A lot of pressure and pain. 24, but I've been stretching the game. That's why some people I don't mention always mention my name. He ain't lifting what I'm lifting, but we flex. We ain't gonna want to kill us. We vision be clear as ever. On the road to the cheddar. Only aces are better. You're now rocking with Decker. Now I'm coming through the wooden panel like a lumberjack. I look good in flannel. Long jeans and some fucking sandals. They undermine. You ever seen love turn into hate? You ever had trust chewed up and spit in your face and constantly counted out? Underrated and lucky if you haven't, homie, trust me. Please don't judge me. Nick doesn't, he doesn't lie to you, he doesn't lie to himself, you know, and that's what most respect that I got from him. He's, he's not okay with, with a lie, with being other than him. Like, you know, it, it, it really bothers, he has that conscience, and that's what motivated us, you know, and he never looked down, you know, when I was in trouble and I called on him, you know, a few times, get me out of jams, you know, and other people wouldn't, you know. I try to be as genuine as possible. I try to let my emotions take control. I, if I sit down and I start listening to stuff, I let it come to me. I don't sit down and say, hmm, I haven't done a uh, party song in a while. So let me start writing about alcohol and chicks, you know. I can't do it, because if you, I feel like if at any second I force it, I don't want it. I want nothing to do with it. You know what? You know what I like, Ethan, I feel like? 
Because it's real music. This isn't bullshit. This isn't real. This is real rap. This isn't that fake. I'm from Walk It. I'm from some bullshit rap. This isn't the. This isn't that fucking. I'm from a bad area, so automatically I can rap bullshit. All right. This is real people making real music. No fake bullshit. It is what it is. This is our house. We built such a strong bond through having the same goals, having the same hustle. We both worked very closely together from a young start when we started working with music and that happened to cause a drive and a passion where we were all in the same studio together, all of us friends making great music and through that came a lot of honesty where a lot of artists nowadays when they're hanging out with their friends, everything's the best, dopest thing on the market. But with us it was that wasn't good, do it again. And through that kind of communication, we were able to heighten everyone's music career, and especially his, because we've worked the most closely together. And through that, you could see how quickly he's changed as an artist. And just by simple honesty, you could bring an artist from this point to this point. And it's something that cannot be undertoned. We just killed that shit, huh? We just killed that shit. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you were going to say, we need one more time. I was going to say, Mike, I'm not friends with you anymore. That's a wrap that's a, that's a, a, a on, on Anthony. Thank you very much for showing. No problem. So I ride, I'm going to ride till I think I eat. Send us over. What are we doing right now, Nick? Fucking shoot day. We're about to shoot some sick ass videos in Bunker Hill with my main man, Joe Guns. What's the name of this one? This one's called Bullshit. It's actually a Meek Mill remix. Uh, we did a little bit ago. The bitch didn't side with the team. Shit happens. How'd he turn on me? Oh, Fuck that, let it burn my G. I don't care, no fear. I wouldn't bring the heat over here when it spurs my G. I leave with the pedal while punching. He has a drive and he has a passion towards friends. He's always trying to help the next person. He's not, I'm gonna just do me and screw you. He's always trying to say, come to my studio, work with me. He gives people chances. And if they, whether they choose to take it or drop it, is their, that's their problem. As Joe Guns, he did great. He came here and he worked with Ace and they built that connection together because they both had a drive towards music. So if you want to be a rapper, there's not too many people who just let you come to their studio and record. They're not, it's, it's not like that. So if you have someone who's willing to give you that kind of power to let your voice be heard, you gotta take those opportunities. If you just sit there and do that, you're not going to get where you want. You need to take your opportunities, and that's what Nick is doing. That's what he's trying to do, and he will do. Run the bone, man, you better pack a full clip. Like that? Yes, just like this. Yeah. Right, right. And. Ah. Oh, yes. Ah. Now, are you ready for this one take? Let's do this shit. <laughs> he just passes out. It's like, let's do. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I got it and all, so. Still got the mayhem shirt. Nice. What did tag, tag on it? it. Oh, it that's great. So, quick cut to mayhem, Dan. I just hit the beat and I cross mayhem. I just hit the beat and I cross mayhem. I just hit the streets and I cross mayhem. Come up, pound, break it down to the motherfucking day and uh. By the way, I found the receipt for that afterwards and I never told you, so I know that you couldn't return it. Damn it. Tom Brady's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be in here for longer. 
and I think I was in here for a little bit too long. So what I'm actually gonna do is that instead of going around one more time, uh, after you're like mixing it, I'm gonna like push into like the studio here. I'm gonna like push into the mic and then you're gonna go behind me, run, <laughs> go over there. And then I, and then when I like pull out from that, I'm just gonna come and then I'm gonna show you over there and then I'm gonna push in. Shit. Had to write this letter cause you've been acting ridiculous Rolling like you limitless Trying to reap the benefits But didn't know the life you chose would lead you to imprisonment Well how's it feel now? Tough guy, bluff guy Went around convincing your friends you had it rough guy Why must I tell you what you already know? Cause you deserve it and act like you never learned it Fun while it lasts Drinking, fucking, and rapping, starting beefing and bragging, pretending this shit was passion. Now all the you first have is this thing that popped in my head was, dear Nicholas. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, what if I make it like a like I'm writing a letter to myself? Yeah. And when I'm writing this letter, and the one thing I told myself was, be as brutally honest as you can. Yeah. The second you say, no, I shouldn't write that, write it. Because if you hear it. When you hear that song, you know I'm telling you the truth. And if someone else listens to that song, they know I'm telling the truth. It's not some fabricated something or other that I put together to make a hit record. It's not. This is just me. Yeah. In the letter that I really wrote to myself. Your mom asked you when you last spoke to Nico, and you said you don't know he ain't one of your people, and that he dissed you, and you ain't fucking equal. Then the next day he died, so you decide to get on your R.I.P. shit Like you're still a team shit, and even though you mean it, it don't really mean shit And shit is not okay, even if it seems it So there's some shit that you can wake up and go to sleep with It's necessary to be you I believe that people have a sixth sense for genuine If you're doing something from your heart, a spectator that doesn't know you won't know why, but they'll know you're being honest. I think that's just human nature. I think if I go up there and 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 I give you this propaganda or this this image of me that I created, you'll know. I've seen people do it, and I don't want to live like that. That's the one, man. That's, that's fucking dope. Yeah? Yeah, man. I like that one. Like, every part about it, every transition, every part about it was good. I think everyone has a way of dealing with things. And if they don't, they need to find one. Personally, I think if it weren't for music, I wouldn't be half the person I am. When you tell people you're a rapper, usually the first thing they think is, oh, God. You know, that's like the first, you can see it in their eyes. You know, they won't say it, but that's what they think. And there's so much that goes into being an artist that I think we all know. That there's just something that is, you, it, it calls you. The stuff that you learn while dealing with these people teaches you a lot about life. The people who are most afraid will judge you the most. For being brave. All right, and that is a wrap on a second one takes the first one. All three today. Round of applause, a second for yourself. That's the next. I do feel successful. I feel the people around me are good people. I feel like my situation in life right now is good. Money and fame that doesn't necessarily make you successful. You are who you put yourself around. I wouldn't be me if I didn't have those people. It's like the term, one hand washes the other. You know, that's how it works. That's just who I am. To have these 
key people, it makes it easier. Try to stay away from the trap shit. All I do is trap now. Now I'm quick 16 like a Mac clip. How the Mac sound? Now I never play with this motherfucking rap shit. Better use both fears when I rap now. All stuff dark is the Henny Black is. Sip that, that black till I black out. Mm. This how you made me. Hop out and speck on my name like a baby. All in that social, they calling me crazy. Pairing those kids off the Henny and Bailey's. Oh. Fuck a Fugazi, I come there, we shooting, I feel like I'm candy, I feel like my dad here working in the 80s, it's 2016 and I'm whipping the crazy. Damn, ho, might just move to Cali like the Rams, ho. Got my man Jay out there, we turn to bang night if I stay out there, but the Beyonce sipping lemonade out there. All the way up, way, way out there Give me the money, yeah, we don't move to yeah, the payout, yeah, clear yeah. Go, I don't fall I just be drinking and fucking with flowers I just be bow, whipping and flipping the all Tell the bitch, get on the pow What is she now? She don't know better She just won't strip cause she know where that get her She see the chain get the swinging like meta It was a KO as soon as I met her Wow no Bill Cosby, no we been revving like 10 miles. The peace one and that is for fucking around with the dirty white bitch like Benghazi. Clean, what does that mean? I put you out, putting off of my team.